Alrighty guys, welcome back. Earlier we were talking about uh, Jonte Porter receiving a lifetime ban from the NBA for violating uh, gambling rules. And now we're going to dive into our Thirsty Thursday segment for the week. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. And so, okay. What's up? I, I was going to say, I was just looking at this and they were showing that there was like 16 players that was banned and never reinstated. <sighs> and yeah. the most recent ones, uh, Porter. Mm -hmm. I didn't know OJ Mayo. I was Donald Sterling and Richard Drumming are the, la the most recent ones that have been banned and never reinstated. And you think, I, I, you know, watching other <laughs> players you know get banned from gambling you think everybody well, else would be like these yeah, guys didn't get banned from he's the first i think he's the first one to get banned for gambling let's see oj mayo uh was substance abuse policy by uh by smoking mm -hmm. marijuana and and abusing painkillers was his issue uh donald sterling uh he was an owner who made some very uh he was a former owner of the lakers who made some very racist comments and he was a horrible whore he may be the worst worst owner in nba history richard drummond was substance abuse uh very banned for repeatedly substance abuse donald sterling was for racist comments and everything everybody else was more substance abuse this is the first one for you know for gambling breaking the gambling policy mm -hmm. uh there was a referee once that got that got banned as well for dealing with something with gambling as well mm -hmm. but you don't see you don't see that that often most times you think about pete rose and I'm going to say this. There's a huge difference, people. I know we're taking the segment a little bit longer, but everyone thinks of Pete Rose on gambling. But this guy was betting that he's going to underperform. He's given information on how he can underperform. Mm -hmm. Pete Rose was like, we're going to kick y'all's butt and I'm going to put some money on it. He was betting on his team to win. Mm -hmm. He wasn't saying like, hey, I'm the manager of the Reds and we're going to get smoked. No, he was betting on they're going to win or he's betting on other games that he wasn't involved in. But he never, from everything I have seen, he never bet against his own himself or the team he played for. This guy is betting against himself that he's going to underperform he's going to be sick and kind of step out of this game. This is the worst kind of way for someone to be gambling in sports. It's, mm -hmm. it's a, it's, it's a, it's, it's, as you said, disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to, I did, I just had to go on that whole little I Pete Rose you. thing as well. Little, Cause you know, I want box. Pete, I want Pete in the hall of fame. That's the reason why. <laughs> He deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Oh, gosh. Okay. All righty. Well, now we're going to dive into our Thirsty Thursday segment for the week. So I got this from uh, a subreddit. Uh, it is Ask Reddit. Um, this, is, this is a little bit of an older story. It was posted eight years ago, um, but it was really funny, and we got some good comments with it as well. So um, I, love the, I love when you have the comments. That's what I look for. <laughs> All righty. So... Um, it was getting towards the end of the night, and we were en route to uh, a strip club for a reason I still can't figure out. We were driving with the windows cracked and smoking cigarettes. At this point, I was over half a fifth of Maker's Mark in, and I could feel that all too familiar, too familiar feeling. I was about 10 seconds from unleashing a hot and smelly tsunami of vomit all over the backseat oh, of this why, enclosed why the... vehicle. <laughs> okay. Maker, thinking, maker's mark, huh? Okay. Yeah. Thinking quickly, I formed a plan in my drunken and panicked mind. 
uh, Alex, it's so hot back here. Can you open my window a little more? It's happening. For some reason, I get it in my head that I can't, that they can't find out that I'm going to drain everything in my body onto the sidewalk. Um, <clears throat> this secret must go with me to the grave. Alex, I love this song. Can you turn it up? I had never heard this song in, before in my life, but no one was suspicious, so the plan forged on. I then unleashed... <laughs> This person's very descriptive. A torrent of bile so violent that it rivaled the pea soup scene in The Exorcist. I finished my barf and revealed in the fact, uh, reveled in the fact that I had done it. No one knew, and I was free. We got out of the car and proceeded to walk into the club and enjoy an hour of watered-down drinks um, and painted chests. Um, as we were approaching the car, whoa, 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 whoa. they painted. went to a strip what club, mean? painted chests. Okay. Boobs. Breasts. <laughs> okay. I've never heard it called painted chest before. No, he said painted I, I was, boobs, but I was trying to... Okay, I'm sorry. I wasn't I was trying understanding. trying to clean it up a little I, bit. <laughs> I was truly <laughs> clueless on what you were talking about there. I, that is the um, honest truth. Anyway. Got it, Faith. Sorry. <laughs> He's trying to remain professional. <laughs> and I do. I was not catching on at all, say. Zero. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, as we were approaching the car, I hear it. A scream of rage disgust. With little to, to no foresight, I assume the vomit would land on the ground despite us driving 40 miles per hour on the highway. His car oh, looked okay. like someone hosed it down with exclusively post-pizza vomit. I needed an escape, so I did the only thing I could think of at the time. I was even more enraged. I couldn't believe that someone could be that disrespectful. I entertained that it was probably the loud frat guys who left before us. Or bums. We just don't know. To this day, no one knows that it was me, and I regret nothing. <laughs> That's a gross story. That's a <laughs> right gross, gross, gross story. They were very descriptive with their... Um, okay, first off, if you've been drinking, mm -hmm. wouldn't you just say, hey guys, I'm getting sick, pull over? Normally, yes, but you know, when, you've, when you're, I guess, a fifth of Maker's Marker in, goo. That's why Maker's Marker, I'm not... You know. Maker's Marker, it, okay, <laughs> here, first, first question I have is I've seen people have maker's marks at their house. Mm -hmm. And whenever I have, I like I have parties, I always ask people to bring mm -hmm. a bottle to share. And sometimes people will bring maker's mark. So I may have some at my house. I don't look at it as a very, is, is, is that, that's not really a very high end no. drink in itself, is it? That's, uh, that's, that's I'm very low sure end. It's cheap whiskey, I believe. Okay, I I I'll was double just, check that though. I'm just getting a little clarification on that because people, you know, people love certain things, and so makers makers mark. You know it, but I always thought of it as more of a lower end brand. Um, this one's weird because the fact that he tried to hide it and not the smartest thing in the world when you're like <laughs> i'm going hey turn this song up this this and this and this this guy yeah i i i'm i'm a loss for words with this guy you, you know <laughs> you, it, it, especially if it's one of your buddies you just pull over and be like yo man i'm sick pull over or sometime even quick Ooh, pull over right now i'm about to be sick you pull over, everyone knows that one, everyone yeah. jumps out, you're on the side of the road, and then you're not spray painting the entire back <laughs> side of a car. If you're doing 40 down the road, what do you think's gonna happen? Tate, you've never had a drop of alcohol. You don't understand what <laughs> what alcohol <laughs> does to the brain sometimes. <laughs> and you know, okay, yes, but see, I'm the guy, all my friends are, big drinkers i'm mm -hmm. the guy that i'm the guy that throws a party that has a lot of booze but i don't drink mm -hmm. but the level of not i want to don't want to say stupidity the the 
not making smart decisions is crazy. And that's the whole thing about these Thursday Thursdays are people getting drunk and making bad decisions in life. And <laughs> this is one of those bad decisions. <laughs> He's not, he, and here's the thing. The guy that tries, the guy that's super upset and makes the big production, they always think like, if I make this big production, no one will think it's me. Yes, you're the, you're the top, you know, the loudest one is the <laughs> one that's most likely did it. Mm -hmm. So the kind of like the reverse way of looking at it. I think they, you think they know who did it? <laughs> so one of the comments actually Okay, was, let's hear it. <laughs> um, well, now I know it was you and Alex will not be happy about this. So I assume whoever commented this was one of his friends and they found the post. <laughs> so wow. from what it sounds like, they didn't know to begin with, but they know now. <laughs> See, you're a fool. You're you're giving you're you're turning it's like you know, you're the you're turning your own self in. That's the whole thing about dumb criminals. Sometimes criminals get their own their own self caught. Mm -hmm. This guy didn't already he didn't he didn't drop a dime on himself. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be, if you're going to do something silly, you're supposed to be like, shut this up, shut it down. Nobody's going to know. You don't mm. put her on a forum. Yeah. Well, I mean, with this story, I'm with you in saying, like, why didn't you just say, ask them to pull over? Because I've had many moments where I've had to have, <laughs> I've had to pull over. Sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't. That's just a part of life. Um, but I would not, you know, attempt to roll the window down and throw up out of it because I, I know that it's just going to go down on the side of the car. It's not going to go or, yeah. or come back in the car, <laughs> get you back in the face. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, you don't want, you don't, you don't want that boomerang effect. Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. you don't want to, you don't want to get baptized by your own <laughs> maker's mark. I just want to let you know, you know, you know what I mean? Oh, you do geez. not want to get baptized with, no. with some maker's mark. Mm -hmm. Your own, your own baptism. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got any yeah. other comments there? Let me, what else do you have? Um, someone said, did the horizontal splatter pattern not give the game away? Not watch close, not watched enough CSI clearly. <laughs> And then someone else said they were they were drunk. Remember, <laughs> I'm thinking he don't. His friends aren't the smartest ones ever either. It doesn't sound like any of them were the smartest people. You know, I don't think any of them went to Cambridge. <laughs> you know, what I, mean? <laughs> I don't think any of them. You know, they're, they're they're not going to Stanford. They're not going to Cambridge or Oxford. They're they're this is this is mm -hmm. one of those very very low in like below community college it's like it's they're, they're barely getting in <laughs> yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah they're not i don't think they are not they can't spell dean's listen with this group here i've done i'm just saying it's i'm sorry <laughs> it's like eight letters <laughs> <laughs> you cannot spell dean's list nine letters so <laughs> well, hey, possibly yes. Yeah. I just let it go. Sometimes, you know, just don't go, don't go down that rabbit hole. Sometimes you got to stay away from that one. That is oh, hilarious. Gosh. All right, yeah. it's kind of funny, like looking at these and changing, changing up our format and things. Mm -hmm. I kind of like these. I don't like this one. I don't like the gross ones. These are not the, the you know, I like the ones when they're I like, thought it was uh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like the ones when you see people do dumb things and they look back and they're like, man, mm -hmm. the guy throwing up all over my car. Ooh. At least, okay. I will say at least it was on the outside of the car because that's so much easier to clean up than throw up inside your car. And trying to get that smell out of your car is just. 
it's awful. <laughs> I had a buddy of mine uh, that never mind. We won't go there. Never mind. Like, <laughs> let's just say. Let's just say they they messed up. They borrowed a borrowed another buddy's car and then messed up the mm. inside of the car. Yes, mm. and they went. They felt bad, so they had it. They had it professionally cleaned. So the company came in and steam cleaned everything and all mm -hmm. this stuff. And eventually, my buddy had to get rid of that car because it still smelled so bad. <laughs> when you can, when you still, when you have a professional come in and steam clean the inside of your car, mm -hmm. and it still smells so bad that you can you got to get rid of your car. Mm -hmm. You got to be upset. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right all righty guys well with that we are going to close out the show for the day thank you so much for tuning into the andrew tate show presented by the gsmc sports network your support means a lot to us so please remember to subscribe to the show and leave a positive review it really does make a difference we also invite you to follow us on facebook twitter tiktok and instagram for more content and updates thank you once again have a wonderful day and we will see you tomorrow peace Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to.